Hey guys, Dustin here, CEO of 630, and I have Alana with me. And today we're gonna show you how to adjust your bike for comfort. Stick around. All right, so today we're gonna show you how to adjust your bike for comfort, but before I do, hit that subscribe button below, stay in touch with us here at 630, and be the first to know about all the new content we're putting out including things about giveaways for bikes, e-bikes, accessories, and of course, new product releases and tons of other stuff. So hit subscribe. All right, so today I'm gonna show you how to adjust a bike for comfort. Now, obviously we have a 630 bike here, but a lot of people that ride bikes wanna have maximum comfort, not necessarily max performance. You know, there's performance bikes and more bikes geared towards comfort. I have our Every Journey hybrid touring bike here, which is, you know, a hybrid bike is a combination of performance and comfort mixed into one. So with this bike, you can do a lot with it and still feel comfortable. Now, on 630 bikes, you have four adjustment points that you can make to dial in the bike so it's most comfortable for you. You have the seat height, the seat tilt, this handlebar height, and the handlebar tilt. Not all bikes necessarily have these four points. Some uh, will have a fixed piece stem, so you might not be able to adjust the height at all. Some you might not be able to adjust the tilt very much. Um, it just kind of depends. We want as many adjustment points as possible on our bikes to allow for as many riders as possible to adjust the bike to their body. And that's the beauty of a 630, is if you buy online, you'll be able to custom fit it to your body with these four adjustment points. So, fitting for comfort is obviously a different process than fitting for efficiency or performance. There is a lot of feel that goes into it, which is why it's important for people at home to know how to do this because you're gonna be riding the bike, logging miles, and you're gonna feel how your body responds. And it's important that you listen to how your body is communicating to you. If you feel pain with a certain position, you make an adjustment. So I'll walk you through the adjustment points and then I'll also point out some general high level theories and practices that I believe in to adjust for comfort. But again, if your body tells you differently and you don't like that, by all means, make the adjustment necessary. So first and foremost is the seat height. So we've actually pre-adjusted the seat height, but I'll go ahead and show you. Um, on some bikes, this is gonna require an Allen key or a screwdriver, in our case, we have a quick release, so we can literally just move the seat up and down. Now, for the seat height, there's two elements to this. One really is for safety, um, and two is also for comfort. You don't want your legs to be too cramped. You don't want your knees to be hurting, uh, which can happen if you're, you've got the seat too close to the pedals. In addition to that, you do wanna be able to get your feet on the ground safely when riding, but we're talking about comfort. So. What we're trying to find is the perfect leg extension to give you efficiency and comfort, and most importantly, comfort. So let's get this back to a right here. Alana's five foot one, so go ahead and hop on, Alana. And if you could get that the right foot pedal to the bottom so they can see where your leg is. Okay, so you can see Alana just has a slight bend at the down pedal, which is exactly what you want, and that's gonna be most comfortable. If we were to have that seat any lower and you start to compress that, the knee and there's an extreme bend, it's not gonna feel very comfortable. It's gonna be really hard on your knee. Imagine if you have bad knees and you're squatting and putting that tension on it, the more you kind of make that knee flex there too much, it's gonna be not as comfortable. So we wanna get just a little bit of a bend so on the downstroke, she's actually you know, pushing through and generating power, but not too much and then you know, you want to have your leg like this. All right. So then on the, show them on the up position. There. So that's really also the other point is like on the up point, you don't want that knee to really get above parallel. If her leg was so high that her knee was coming up here, that's not going to feel good. Especially if you have bad knees or tight knees or tight hips or tight hamstrings, that's going to be a lot of strain. If you've got that seat super low, you're gonna have to bring your knee way up high. So nothing above parallel there and on the down parallel there and on the downstroke, just a slight bend in the knee. Okay, now, if you wanna hop off for a second. 
We also have the tilt of the seat here. And the tilt of the seat, I'll show you, in the case of 630, can be adjusted with a 14 millimeter wrench. And what we can do is we can lo loosen these bolts on what we call the seat hardware, or sometimes it's called the seat cuff. And you can loosen these two bolts on either side. You wanna do equal, equal loosening on both sides. And now you've created, we can even loosen, loosen this a little more just to make it a little bit easier. I think I just tightened it. Indeed I did. Okay, now you can see I've got this flexibility to tilt it forward and to tilt it back. The Generally speaking for the tilt of a seat, it depends on the type of seat you have. In this case on a bucket saddle, you generally wanna have a slight tilt towards the rear so the person's butt is cupped by the bucket element. Um, but again, it's personal choice. If you have a flatter seat, you generally wanna keep it as flat as possible. But it also depends on your body type, and this may be funny to say, but for people that may have a flatter rear or a more bubble rear, um, or just general shape is gonna affect how you want this seat to be. You know, honestly, for me, like if I have this seat, you know, even straight up and down, I feel like I'm falling off the seat. I need it back a little more to really um, keep me in the saddle. So we actually did some pre-adjusting for Alana. So I like to have a partner when I'm adjusting a bike. It helps a little bit. So they can find, a, find the place that they like and someone can tighten it quickly. But if you wanna go ahead and step over the seat. Yep. Now you don't wanna put any weight down. You just wanna feel how it is. I think back a little. Back a little? Yeah. Okay, so we can just make a click back. And there we go. So I'm assuming that will be good for her. Now we just come in with our 14 millimeter. So general rule of thumb is a flat seat is gonna be adjusted more flat. Bucket seats will be tilted back. But again, it's totally personal preference. So this one, just make sure when you're so, sort of finding the tilt you like, before it's tightened all the way, don't put 100% of your weight down or else you're gonna get a uh, very unpleasant experience. In addition, this is a really important bolt to tighten as much as you can without stripping anything because you're putting a lot of downward pressure on these bolts when you're riding. And so you don't want this seat going anywhere. So after you tighten it, just do a little bit like this. You can tell it's not going anywhere. Okay, so now Lana can sit down. Now we'll make our way to the handlebars. So we have two adjustment points up here, one to adjust the height of the handlebars and one to adjust the tilt. In this case, it's gonna be a six millimeter. Depends on the type of bike you have if it's not a 630. Sometimes this actual stem on a lot of bikes is what's called a fixed stem. So you can't even move the height up or down, but you might be able to do the angle. So that's a benefit of a 630 is you have these four adjustment points. So just stick your Allen key in. Oops. Left in the seat. Yes, thank you, Alana. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now here's where the partner element is a little bit nice. She can start to play around with the height that's obviously too high and she can kind of see what she likes now i will say i think where we had it is where she wanted it yeah okay so now once you find your height she can hold the bars in place and make sure that the stem lines up with your front wheel and then i can just oh well, see she didn't hold it that's why the partner is so important <laughs> okay so i can just kind of hold it too just to be sure you know, it's, it's funny to say, too, because once you find these adjustments, you really don't want to let them go, you know. You want to lock them in so you don't lose the position. All right, there we go. And then make sure this is nice and tight. Okay, now, lastly, we're moving on to our tilt. So, this one is the 6 millimeter as well. And I previously tightened this, so I did it really well. <laughs> but we'll go ahead and loosen it. Okay, so now she's got free reign. 
to adjust the bike any way she sees fit. Now again, this is the beauty of all 630 bikes and e-bikes are these four adjustment points. And this is a really, this is a really important one too, especially if you're adjusting for comfort. So when I'm looking at handlebar adjustments, I'm really looking at the back. So you can see Alana's back is straight up and down. From a comfort standpoint, the less you're leaning forward, the less tension on your muscles, the more comfortable, the more relaxed you are. You can see the bars are coming into her body, so her shoulders are nice and upright. She doesn't have any hunches or anything in her back. And her shoulders are very relaxed. So we wanna get the height and the tilt in a position where her shoulders can be down. Her elbows can be relaxed, not bent up or any kind of weird position. And we don't want her wrists kinked or anything like that. Again, we're talking strictly for comfort. I'm trying to find ways to adjust it to take tension off of her joints and her muscles. If you wanna create a circumstance where you're working a little harder, you can adjust it in a totally different way that might increase your power. In this case, we're talking about comfort. So go ahead and find the tilt. So I like the rider to grab. They find the position they like, and then your partner can come in the front here while they hold it. I can do a little, just tighten it down. And and then this bolt is really important to get tight because when you're going up hills or riding fast, you're putting a lot of downward pressure on the handlebars and this singular bolt is gonna keep it in place. So you can give it a little jiggle, push down a little bit. Feels good. So now we've adjusted for comfort. You can see her wrists are not kinked, her elbows are relaxed, her shoulders are back. So her body is not holding any tension while riding. That's really the key. Now this bike, the Every Journey, is really set up to be the most comfortable bike on the market because of how it allows the rider to sit in this ergonomic position. But all 630 bikes have the ability to be adjusted and custom fit to a rider's body. And most bikes on the market will have some level of adjustment available. And so it's up to you to dial it in and feel what's best for you. Now the beauty, like I said, is the simplicity of these adjustments. Log a few miles, see what hurts, come home, make the adjustment. It may take one, two, three, four, five, six rides till you finally get it just right. The other thing to pay attention to is like, if you haven't ridden in a long time, you may feel pain or discomfort. Try not to confuse that with the bike being uncomfortable. It can also be attributed to your body just adjusting to getting back into riding. So there's good pain and there's bad pain. You might just wanna to try to be aware of which type of pain you're feeling. If it's pain related to muscle fatigue, that might be a good pain. If it's pain, something in the joint, pinching, or extreme tightness, that's probably a bad pain. But it is important to try to distinguish between the two of those. So I hope that helps for you to adjust your bike to a comfortable level for you. If you have any questions below, comment below or email us, the team at 630.com or call us 310-982-2877. In addition to that, take our body fit quiz on our website. We have a proprietary algorithm that will fit you perfectly to a bike for your body and your lifestyle. It takes less than two minutes and you'll just answer a few questions about your body and your riding habits and we'll recommend the perfect bike for you. And after you get your bike, download our app. You can plug in your height and your inseam and our app will tell you exactly how to adjust the bike to your body, the height of the seat, height of the handlebars and some tips on the seat tilt and the handlebar tilt. In addition to that, we have a 365 day test ride your bike policy. If you don't love your bike in 365 days, send it back, no questions asked, no money out of your pocket. And for e-bikes, we have a 90 day test ride your bike policy. If you don't love it in 90 days, send it back, no questions asked. Lastly, join our community. Like I said, download the app, track your rides, be a part of the leaderboard competitions. And also we have a 2022 people pedaling challenge. We're trying to log 150,000 miles. And with every 25,000 miles we ride, we're giving away bikes to help inspire more people to get pedaling. And join our Facebook pedalers group, share photos of your bikes, be a part of the community, make friends. Even if you haven't bought a bike yet, it's a great place to see how other riders are using their bikes and ask them questions. You can ask real riders real questions about how they love their bike. All right, well, thank you for sticking around. And don't forget, it's your journey, your experience. Enjoy the ride.